Hi, today you are with me, which means you are sushi lovers. But what do you do when you want to eat sushi? I do take away from sushi restaurants nearby. Costs me a lot, but doesn't matter. I prepare them by myself. But the problem is, sometimes I don't find the good ingredients. And it also takes me a lot of time. I adore sushi, but I don't have money to buy them. I don't know how to make them either. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh dear, don't worry. Today, I will show you how to make delicious homemade sushi easy to prepare with ingredients easy to find. Let's go! Ingredients for two people. Round rice, 200 milliliter, will be cooked with 240 milliliter of water. The cooked rice will be seasoned by mix of white wine vinegar, salt and sugar. If you find this pre-mixed vinegar for sushi, you can use it too. Then, this seasoned rice is garnished with seafood, vegetables and meat. The possibility is unlimited. Today, we start very simple ingredients. Canned tuna, smoked salmon, surimi, shrimp, omelette, cucumber, avocado and sheaves. Lastly, indispensable to serve, nori, soy sauce, if you like condiment, wasabi. All ingredients are ready. Now, we cook rice. But who can explain how to cook properly round rice? Me, I learned it from this video. Yeah. So, uh, I think you, you rinse the rice, you add water, uh, you, let, uh, you let it soak for 30 minutes, then you boil and slow cook for 10 minutes. Uh, oh, and then you let it rest for 10 minutes, right? Wow, 10 out of 10. Bravo! While rice is cooked, we do 8 tasks. They are simple and independent of each other. Easy to share. Invite everyone to your kitchen. Task 1. Make a good time control of rice. Task 2. Make omelette. Add a pinch of salt and sugar. Mix well and cook on the pan like you do for a crepe. Fold it and cut. Make tuna mix. Chop sheaves, drain canned tuna. Add 1 teaspoon of mayonnaise and soy sauce. Mix well. Prepare a flat plate with kitchen paper. Cut avocado, soak them in salted water to keep good color. Then put them on the plate. Cut cucumber. If your cucumber has a lot of water with seeds, better to take them off. Otherwise, your sushi will be too wet. Put pieces on the plate. Task 5. Plating smoked salmon surimi and shrimp. Keep the plate in the fridge until everything will be ready. By the way, I use smoked trout because this is a product from my region. Task 6. Cut nori. One sheet into 4 to 6 pieces, depending on how you like the size of your sushi to your mouth. Task 7. For sushi vinegar, mix Two and a half tablespoon of white wine vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoon of sugar. You also can use ready-made vinegar for sushi alternatively. Task eight: Prepare table for each person at table. A plate for rice and a small plate with soy sauce. And if you have a pair of chopsticks, it will be a good initiation or a spoon soaked and a fork will be fine. Now the rice is ready. Don't forget to soak your rice paddle before you use it. Otherwise, 
the rice grains stick too much. Transfer it to the big bowl. Quickly separate grains. Pour out the mixed vinegar sauce. Mix quickly in the way of cutting until the sauce spread equally. Don't crush rice grains. Now we serve everything on the table. The table is ready. Y yeah, but where, where, where are the makis uh, and the nigiri? Don't worry. This is called freestyle sushi. We can make our own combination by ourselves. Okay, so, so, so how do you form the shape? How do you prepare them? Don't worry. I will show you four types of style. Wow. Style one, not shaping. You serve rice on the plate and decorate with flavors that you like. In Japanese, it is called chibrashi, which means sprinkle. In Japanese, it will be good for those who don't like nori. Number two, taco style. Take a piece of nori, spread rice on it, then put fillings in the middle, then fold the nori gently. Then dip in a soy sauce. Eat up in two to three bites. Number three, ice cream style. Prepare longer rectangle nori. Put rice only one side. Put filling alongside a diagonal, then wrap it. Be careful not to put too much rice and filling. Number four, golf ball style. Put ingredients on the small piece of cling film, then place a tablespoon of rice, then close the film and shape a ball. Take off the film, put the bottom with the toppings up. This is called te mari. If your art spirit wins your appetite, I recommend you this style. Only way to develop your skill is learning by doing. If you have an accent like this, don't worry, you just reshape it tighter. So guys, are you ready to organize freestyle sushi party? Thank you. For watching my video. I hope now you are motivated to organize your own freestyle sushi party. If you find some interesting ingredients, please share it in my comment section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your sushi journey is just started. Sayonara!